Hi, my name is Thea Clarkberg. Um, I'm an admissions counselor here at Earlham, but I was here for four years as a student um, and participated in the barn for all of those four years, and now I'm one of the faculty advisors for the equestrian program. Let's go on a tour and learn more about the Suzanne Horner Jackson Equestrian Center. So at the barn, every single student goes through a year of courses. So, um, so these courses teach students about horse care, um, horse first aid, and also leadership skills for barn management. So all of these courses take place in our classroom. So here's where we meet to um, have classes with our students. We have a coffee machine and some snacks, because let's be honest, everyone gets hungry at the barn during a lot of physical labor. Um, so it's lovely to have this little snack bar. Um, here are the eggs from the chickens that we have at the barn, so students can take those home. Um, and then poster projects that students have been doing um, for their class as well. We also have meetings every Monday um, where students, where we touch base and make sure that everyone is on the same page for the running of the program. Right now we have 15 horses, um, but that varies from year to year. Um, everything at the barn is um, recorded on these whiteboards that you see all over the barn. So this one is about um, how many classes, how many horse lessons um, students have done. This one records um, which horses have been ridden and how often. Um, this one records what horses are available. So everything you could think of is recorded here so that we keep track of everything that's going on at the barn and stay on track. So some of our students are tacking up for a riding lesson. Um, so horse students who join the co-op get a free riding lesson once a week. Um, so even students with no horse experience can learn how to ride and it's free. So we offer the barn co-op as long as you do a shift where you take care of the horses, um, you can ride them for free. So let's take a look at the tack room. So this is the schooly tack room where we have tack for the school horses, everything from the saddles um, that are under here to the bridles that go on the horse while um, you're riding. And then even if you don't have any equipment yourself, we have everything from helmets to boots and other riding gear so that you don't have to pay for all of that when you come to ride. Um, in this room, we also have buckets that have um, some some grooming equipment from um, things to pick out their hooves and curry combs and brushes and every horse gets their own assigned bucket. We also have cubbies so if you have some equipment you'd like to store at the barn you can store it here like this is my riding helmet um, so that everything stays tidy in its own place. This is the feed room um, so every day um, twice a day horses get fed grain um, we keep track of everything that the horses are fed on this board here um, so that we know exactly how much grain and what time they're fed. Um, we have all of these different bins um, full of grain um, that are very secure so it's safe from mice and other pests. Um, you can see that the afternoon shift has already put together the feed for all 15 horses at the barn and mixed in different supplements and everything that's necessary to fulfill their nutritional needs. So there's even some grain that has been soaked um, for those um, things that can't be chewed as well. What is your favorite part of the program? Riding. <laughs> it's obvious. Like I just love, like riding horses and learning about, actually, I must also mention learning about how to take care of a horse is also really fun because it's a lot of things that we didn't know that the horses needed and just learning about these I feel kind of more confident you know, being around them. This is my favorite horse Biggie. Um, he's a big boy but very sweet. Hi! And he loves me. <laughs> so let's go in the indoor riding arena. So at Earlham we have an arena indoors so that even if it's a blizzard outside um, you can still ride in the indoor arena and stay protected from the elements. We have a hunt seat team, meaning that students jump horses, so these are the jumps that you put together and then um, set up a course where students jump. So this is our indoor riding arena. Um, students are getting on for their um, afternoon lesson um, and learning how to ride. Even if they've had no experience, um, it's still an opportunity to learn how to ride for free. 
Earlham has an IHSA team. IHSA stands for Intercollegiate Horse Show Association. So this is a team where Earlham students can go to a different college and ride a completely new horse um, and jump a course and compete. So this is um, an awesome opportunity because Earlham provides all of the um, lessons and coach and everything so that students aren't um, having to go out and use their own horse to show. Um, so we have a coach that comes to Earlham and teaches in, at the barn so that students don't even have to go off campus to take their lessons. So this is the schooly side of the barn. So all of these horses are school horses. We actually don't own any horses at Earlham. We lease them from people in the community. So for example, a horse that is used for summer camps for kids in the summer will come to Earlham and be used during the winter and then we'll send them back the next summer so that they can be used again. Um, this just makes it easier for us because there aren't college students here during the summer to take care of them. If you are a student, you can actually bring your own horse to college. Um, so these are all horses that are owned by students or community members. Um, they bring their horse and you can ride whenever you like. And the barn is only a 10 to 15 minute walk from campus, so your horse is right there with you. We also have a flock of chickens at our barn. So this is um, a stall just for the chickens. You've got everything from paintings to flags. Um, everything that they can need is in here. And we also turn them out during the day so they get to frolic wherever they would like to go um, in the horse pastures. Um, at Earlham, we have five and a half giant pastures to turn the horses out in every single day. So they have plenty of space to run around and frolic and have their horsey fun. Um, so this is our holding pen right here. And then you can see back there, there's students who are taking the horses in for the night. Um, every morning, students will turn them out and every night they'll bring them back in at the end of the day. You can also see our flock of chickens. Um, these chickens lay eggs and the students can actually take the eggs home to their dorm um, and cook them and have a nice organic breakfast. They're very peaceful creatures. We also have an outdoor riding arena. Um, so if you'd like to ride outside during a sunny day, we also have that available. We also have several miles of trails um, back campus where you can go through the forest on a beautiful trail. Um, you can ride around the pastures in a big loop. Um, so it's really relaxing um, after class to just go for a trail ride in the sunset. What a beautiful way to end the day. So one of the great things about the Earlham program is that it is run by students. So we do have facilities if we need to do any major repairs around the barn, but we do a lot of it ourselves. So we have this maintenance room that has everything you might need from hammers, um, screwdrivers, we even have some power tools in here. Um, and my favorite personally is the power washer. So as a student, I was able to learn how to use all this equipment to maintain the facilities, which will be important if I do end up managing a barn for myself. Another piece of equipment that we have at the barn is our own tractor. So we have a tractor that we use for moving the manure. We also use it to drag the arena or fluff up the material that we use for the footing. Um, we also have this storage space for hay. So we um, ship in hay from a local farmer every few weeks and then take from here to feed the horses um, every morning and night. We also have a shavings room where we store the shavings that go in their stalls. And like everything else in the barn, we have a um, rec recording of what day and time the shavings will be delivered so that we can keep on track. Um, the great thing about this barn is that we do our best to keep everything fire safe. So shavings are pretty flammable, so they're kept in a separate cement room. And then in case of a fire, there is a part of this door that will melt, and so it will automatically shut when exposed to heat. So it's a pretty cool feature to try to make our barn as safe as possible. Thank you for coming along on this tour of the Earlham Barn.